So example number two, the bus company carries 20,000 rides per day for a fare of 90 cents. Uh, a survey indicates that if the fare is decreased, the number of riders will increase for, by 2,000 for every 5 cent decrease. What price would result from the greatest revenue? Well, what we have to do first of all is go back and do a little bit of review here. Now, hopefully everyone can remember that if we want to do revenue, how do we create revenue? We take the quantity and you multiply it by the price. So that's what we're always going to use in these revenue problems, that quantity multiplied by price. So the bus company carries 20,000 dollars, 20,000 riders for that price. Um, what ticket price would result in the greatest revenue? In gr or greatest revenue. Now, this is what's going to happen here, is if we have 20,000 riders, every time we decrease this five cents, we are going to increase the number of riders. So every five cent decrease is going to increase the number of riders. So what we're concerned about, and that's the big thing in these questions, is the number of increases. So every, or sorry, a number of decreases, I should say. So for every decrease, we're going to gain riders. So we're actually going to try and reduce the price to figure out what the maximum revenue would be. So our unknown in this case is we're going to, and I'm just going to say, uh, let's let x equal the number of price decreases. And that's what we're going to do when we're trying to maximize revenue, where you're going to increase or decrease the price. So x is going to be the number of price decreases. So remember, we want to create an equation where we maximize revenue. So revenue is going to stick around. So revenue is going to be quantity multiplied by price. So what's the quantity? Well, we have 20,000. That's not going to change. But what's going to happen is we are going to increase, so we are going to add 2,000 people every time we decrease the price. So that's what that's telling us here, is that every time we decrease the price, we're going to add an additional 2,000. So two price increases, 4,000. Three price increases, 6,000, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's how we take care of the quantity. Now let's look at the price. The price, well, our original price was 90 cents. And every time we minus 5 cents, every 5 cent price decrease is going to result in an increase of ridership. And that's the new price. We have 90 cents and we're going to minus 5 cents. Now we don't know how many of these price increases we have. That's the question here. So this is the toughest part of the question, trying to establish that equation for revenue. Now once we have the equation, now it's just math. Let's just multiply this out. So we're going to go 20,000 and we're going to multiply that by 0.9 which is going to give us 18,000 minus 20,000 times 0 0.05 is 1,000 1, x plus 1,800 x and minus 100x squared. So now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to rearrange and put my quadratic in the front. So we're going to get negative 100x squared minus plus 800x plus 18,000. And now we complete the square on this. We're going to take out the 100, leaving us with x squared minus 
8x. And then we're going to have our plus 18,000 coming along for the ride. Half of negative 8 is negative 4. So we're going to add 16 and minus 16. And so we're going to get negative 100 x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus, if we have 16 times 100, that's 1,600. So we're going to get 19,600. And when all said and done, we're going to get negative 100 x minus 4 squared plus 19,600. So there is our equation. <clears throat> so now we have, to, we have to figure out, though, is we have to go back and answer the question. Now, the question doesn't ask us what the greatest revenue would be. Here's the greatest revenue, 19,600. The question asks us what price would result in the greatest revenue. So the price is going to result in the greatest revenue or the maximum revenue is going to occur when x equals 4. Now, what does x equal? x is the number of price increases. So we want to figure out the price. Let's go to our price equation. So price is equal to 0 0.90 minus 0.05x. We already established that x in this case is 4. So that's going to tell us that we want to take 90 and minus 0 0.20 or 20 cents, and our price is going to equal 70 cents. So I'm not sure what bus you're taking, but the maximum revenue would occur with a price of 70 cents. There's our question. There's the answer to our question.